Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is a Big Lots haul from the other day. Um, the first color I have here is a L'Oreal. This is a basically almost du duochrome purple. Um, don't know if it actually, I don't think it actually is duochrome, but it's a very vivid purple. And it's called It's Now or Never 650. I'll have to definitely try wearing this, and I'm really excited to wear this one. Um, it's throwing in the viewfinder a lot more blue than in real life. It's um, much more of a true purple. Let's see if... And it... Yeah, it just definitely is looking more blue in the viewfinder, but in real life it's just a deep iridescent sort of plum color. And like I said in other videos, I'll probably try to get photos of colors that don't show up correctly on camera. Um, this next one is a, a Revlon Pebble Texture. You know, I don't think I've done a Revlon collection yet video. If I have, it was quite a while ago, but I have quite a lot of Revlon. So I guess it's probably, um, if, weirdly, I've never done collection videos on some of the stuff that I have the most of. Um, anyway, this Pebble Textured Revlon is Tahitian Coast, and I'm interested to try it. I did recently watch someone's review of a textured nail polish, and they were saying that the nail polish tends to look great the first day. Not the Revlon, it was a different one. But they were saying that it tends to look great the first day, but then it starts to pick up um, fuzzies and things like that. So we'll see how the Revlon works. And, you know, I might even try clear coats over it and things like that. I have not tried any sort of matte textured polishes yet, so we'll see how that works out. I do tend to like Revlon. I haven't seen a lot of people say much about Revlon. Um, in a positive light on YouTube. Maybe I haven't found those channels yet, but my personal opinion about Revlon is that I don't I don't have an issue with the formula. I like their formulas, and I like their colors. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I don't love their polishes. I don't dislike them in the least either, though, and I do tend to wear them a lot. Um, not lately. Probably more like because the collection's been kind of buried. But I did just, when I went to Big Lots and bought these polishes, I bought some new containers to get my collection organized. I finally decided what to go with, so I'll be sharing that when I get that organized. Um, this is Lanai Lagoon. And this is a just really interesting blue, and it's it's photographing fairly close to actual color. Um, it's a really interesting sort of, it reminds me of the ocean, sort of tropical blue color. It's hard to describe that color, really. It's definitely metallic. There's glitter in it, and then it's a pebble texture. And these Revlons were $1.50. The L'Oreal was also $1.50, which is a great buy. I believe L'Oreal retails for around $6.00. If I'm not mistaken, it like Rite Aid. And I have a couple of other L'Oreal colors, and I'll have to say, and I noticed another, um, I wish I had made a note of which um, person said it, but L'Oreal is, I'm pretty impressed with L'Oreal, and the colors are usually pretty exotic. Um, so I'm probably going to be trying to increase my L'Oreal collection. The next thing I got was, this was what I exchanged today, and this is um, a Colormates eyeshadow palette, and I was thinking that this might end up being for nail polish videos, but it also might be one that I choose to use for eyeshadow, I'm not sure yet. And then with the nail polish, if an eyeshadow doesn't work out, I can always make nail polish out of it. Now this color mates I got the other day. It's gonna be kind of hard to show all the colors. Um, the first color is guava lava, 
and it looks like it's um, kind of a little bit of a shimmer sort of um, kind of coral pink color. And now the next one is called Apricot Chiffon, and there's a lot of separation. I haven't opened these yet to kind of mix the colors. Um, and the one in the top here is called Mango Tango. And this whole set of three only costs a dollar. And the set is called Fruity Cutie. And I think I've mentioned it in other videos, but the the... What I do with Color Mates a lot of times is use them as a base coat under other polishes because they tend to to make the polish last longer in my situation. So that is the reasoning for why I've got some more Color Mates. That's another collection that I need to share. But thank you so much for watching. Sorry that's kind of not showing everything, but that was basically my Big Lots, another part of my Big Lots haul from the other day, and an exchange on the eyeshadow. What ended up happening is I ended up buying a eyeshadow that, well, it wasn't actually an eyeshadow, it was a glitter palette that was that had beeswax in it, and my whole intention was to get dry product, and I didn't happen to notice that that was a beeswax-based product, so that was the reason why I exchanged it. Um, but then I ended up buying a few more polishes today, the Sinful Colors, um, some more Sinful Colors that that I added in another video. So, But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.